Next question is the graph of the equation x squared minus 8x plus y squared minus 6y is equal to 75 is a circle with what radius? Now, to find the radius of the circle, we have to express um, the equation of the circle in this standard form. So that standard form is, um, it's x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. So then if you're able to find um, r squared, then you'll be able to find the radius. So how do we go about that? We complete the square. So to complete the square, we would simply take the x squared, then you say minus 8x, and then we say plus. Now what we would add there would be to say, we take the negative 8x, multiply by one over two, which is negative four. And so that would be squared. And then after that we say y squared, uh, minus 6y, and then we take the coefficient of y, and then we take that 6 squared, multiply by 1 over 2, and it's then 3, and then we would add, and remember that it's negative 3 because it's negative 6 divided by 2, so that would then be minus 3 squared, um, and that would be equal to 75. Now, what you have on, what you add on the left hand side, you have to add on the right hand side. So it would come and add here as well. So that would be plus um, negative four squared plus negative three squared. All right, cool. Now to factorize that, we just simply say x minus four squared plus y minus three squared is equal to 75 plus um, 16 plus uh, 9. Okay, so then that would be x minus 4 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to, well, 16 plus 9 is 25. 75 plus 25 is equal to 100. And so, r squared is equal to 100. And so to find r, we just have to square root r squared. And so r will be equal to 10. And the answer that is 10 there is c. OK, cool. Hope you guys understand. Let's move to the next question. All right, the next question is, suppose um, a and b on the circle with center C. The angle ACB is 30 degrees. If a point D is randomly chosen in the circle, then what is the probability that the triangle ABD is obtuse? All right, cool. Now, uh, the first part would be to define what an obtuse angle is. So if an angle is obtuse, it means that I mean, if a triangle is obtuse, it means that at least um, one angle um, is greater than 90 degrees, okay? So typically for obtuse angles, they look more like this, where you have this one side, which um, is greater than 90, and these are the two smaller sides. So that's how it looks like. So if you're looking for a, um, a probability that it's greater than 90, perhaps the starting point should be to find um, where the 90, where we would have to place D in order for this triangle to be 90 degrees, because we can start there. And then from there, we can try to see uh, which direction we can go on so that we can reduce the, the angle or to increase the angle. So um, we can use the theorem, which is um, the angles um, in a semicircle form a 90 degrees. So for example, what I'm saying here is that we can place D um, right here. So you can go from B to 
D um, right here. So this kind of forms a semicircle. Uh, so this would be, so let's say this is D. So this is our first E. Then the next thing that you can do here is that, so if this is our D, then what would be the triangle? So the triangle would look something like this. So it would be A, B, and it would come into here. And so we can close then that triangle. So to close it, it would come into uh, A. So this angle that would form here because of the circle theorem that angles in a semicircle form in 90 degrees, this would be our angle, which is 90 degrees. Cool. So now what we can try and look is to see what would happen if we um, move D towards this side to see if this angle becomes bigger. So if it becomes bigger than 90, then we would say, well, you'd have to choose the angles that are this side. And then if it is um, smaller, than 90, then maybe these are the angles. This side. So let's see if we move it this side, does it give us an angle that is greater than 90 or smaller than 90? So we can start on this side. All right, cool. So let's say maybe that uh, D ends up being randomly here. So let's just call this D2. So if it was here, well, our angle would shift uh, more or less like this. So we would go from here uh, sorry, to there, okay? So what can you see? You can see that this angle has just gotten bigger. It became bigger than 90 degrees. But now let's say that instead of, so if we keep on shifting this side, this angle here is gonna keep being greater than 90, and we can only really go up until about um, here. So this is about 150 degrees that you can still go from this going this side. That's about 150 degrees type of angles that you can be able to bump into to make a triangle that is an obtuse angle. Now, let's suppose another situation. Let's say that our D, instead of being on this side, now it's on this side. If it's on this side, let's say this is D here. So let's say D3. So then our angle would move from, so our angle moves basically, let me take that out. So our angle would move from there. Uh, Okay, let me just take that out instead and replace with another. So our angle would come from here. So you can already see that it's squeezing from that open 90 degrees angle that it was to now being a smaller angle than 90 degrees. So then it means then that um, for all these angles here, so if we're looking at um, these angles over here, so if we're looking at these angles that are from this side going this side, then the angle is, so the triangle is an obtuse triangle, whereas if it's these angles that are this side, the triangle is not obtuse. So it would mean then that for 150 degrees, or if it appears anywhere in this 150 degrees area, it would be an obtuse angle out of how many degrees? Well, out of the entire circle, the entire circle is 360 degrees. So those would be the chances that you get an obtuse angle. So we can then simplify that. So zero cancel zero, then we have 15 over 36. So that's a common factor of three. So um, three goes to 15, five times, three goes to three, one time, three goes to six, two times. So you have five over 12 and five over 12 would be um, the option C. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if it doesn't, uh, you can drop um, a question in the comment section below. Um, let's go into the next question.